Hello everyone. I'm so excited to be here with you today. My name is Yvonne Sanchez and I'm so happy that I was invited by Driscoll Health Plan to read you my book. It's called I Could Be Anything and the illustrations are also by Cristo Gonzalez. So I'm excited to show this to you. So let's get started. If I could be anything, what would I be? Let's go through the alphabet from A to Z. I could be an artist and mix paints with my brush. I would use my palette and paint the landscape blush. I could be a banker and manage the accounts. I would use my calculator and put in large amounts. So as you can see here, the banker, he's counting with his calculator and he's counting the amounts to put in your bank account. I could be a chef and cook some yummy food. I would use my recipes and show my happy mood. And so I don't know what she's cooking in there, but it looks like something that's very yummy. I could be a dancer and practice all my moves. I would use my boom box and let the music move my shoes. And so what do you notice about the dancer? It's a boy, you're right. Boys can be dancers just like girls can be dancers. I could be an equestrian and ride on my horse. I would use my saddle and keep her on the course. And so we have some equestrians here in McAllen where I'm from, and I hope you do too. And if you notice, she's a girl. I could be a farmer and drive a heavy plow. I would use my yellow gloves and feed my favorite cow. I could be a golfer and have a ton of fun. I would use my biggest club and make a hole in one. Or I could be a hockey player and zoom around the ice. I would use my fastest skates and score once, twice, or thrice. I could be investigator and search in all the places. I would use my magnifying lens and crack all of the cases. And so I'm excited about this one because I am a lawyer and I feel like this is my investigator because I do have one and she does help me find all the clues for my cases. I could be a juggler and travel town to town. I would use my red bow tie and dress up like a clown. And so I don't know if you have a circus in your area, in Corpus or wherever you're from, but here in McAllen we have lots of circus so you can go see the jugglers. They're lots of fun to watch. I could be a knight and explore a dragon cave. I would use my silver shield and join the strong and brave. Now, look at this picture. I don't know if you have a dragon in your area. I know in McAllen we don't, so that's good. And this knight is a girl, as you can see. And in London, if you go to London, you're gonna see all the knights over there, the changing of the guards. And even though we can't see them because they have helmets on, I want you to know that there are some knights that are girls. I could be a librarian and search for books myself. I would use the alphabet to find the books on shelves. I could be a musician and join a mariachi band. I would sing with my guitar and play for all the land. So look at this, this one's so important. Look how cute she is and it is a girl mariachi because here in McAllen we have lots of mariachis and they are girls too. I could be a news reporter and keep people up to date. I would use my TV voice and report the news at eight. I could be an Olympian and compete in every race. I would use my fastest shoes and win the gold with grapes. So I'm not sure if you have an Olympian or if you ever met one, but here in McAllen, we actually have an Olympian. And so what he always tells everybody is just keep working hard and practicing and you can be one too. I could be a policeman and uphold the law. I would use my loud siren and stop all the hoopla. So what do you notice about this picture? You're right. She can be a police officer too. And so I want you to know that you can be anything. I could be a quilt maker and patch it all together. I would use my strong threads and make it last forever. And so you see the beautiful blanket, you could do that. You can learn to do that with your grandparents. I could be a roper and round up all the cattle. I would use my thrusty rope and hold on to my saddle. Or I could be a scientist and discover medicines, I would use my microscope to study different specimens. Look here, 
she's working hard to find the right medicines to help all of you. And I know that you can grow up to be a scientist too. I could be a teacher and teach the kids to spell. I would use my big flashcards and finish by the bell. I could be an underwater diver and swim in the sea. I would use my snorkel and catch fish for a fee. Or I could be a veterinarian and take care of furry friends. I would use the dog treats and open on weekends. Or I could be a writer and create an ocean tale. I would use my favorite pen and write about a well. And so what do you see the writer doing there? All these bubbles, what does that mean? Well, he's thinking and he's thinking of what he wants to write. I could be an x-ray technician and check for broken bones. I would use my tech machine and detect the source of groans. And so you see the x-ray technician making sure that everything's okay with the animal. I could be a yodeler and sing both fast and slow. I would use my accordion and put on a great show. Well, we don't have any yodelers in McAllen that I know of, but I'm sure that maybe where you're from, you do. And so if you wanted to, you could be one too. I could be a zoologist and talk to tall giraffes. I would use my measuring tape and mark their height on graphs. If you see her measuring the giraffe in Brownsville, they have the Gladys Porter Zoo and I hope you can go see it so you can see the giraffes and feed them and see how tall they are. So if I could be anything, what would I be? I could be anything from A to Z. And so I'm so happy to share this book with you. This book means so much to me because I wrote this for all of you so that you can know that you can be anything that you wanna be as long as you try your best and you imagine it and make it happen. And so I hope you enjoyed reading with me today. Keep watching the reading corner so you can see all the other books they have and keep reading. Bye.